Welcome to this short presentation on Mind Genius for Project Management. I'm Jamie McDonald. The aim of this presentation is to provide you with a short overview of the uses and benefits of Mind Genius for managing projects. If we go straight into Mind Genius itself, for the purposes of this presentation, I will demonstrate Mind Genius functionality and benefits and do that within the context of our definition of the key high level stages of a project and those are one planning, two scheduling and three monitor and control. I'm sure you will agree that success in any aspect of work in a particular project is largely determined by the quality of the planning process. All projects regards of size require thorough planning. In our experience and research suggests that projects fail due to a number of factors, but main failures occur in the all-important upfront planning stage, specifically where ideas and knowledge are not being effectively captured and utilized, uh, where there is a lack of momentum between brainstorming sessions or planning meetings and actually taking action. There are a, a lack of suitable tools for capturing project requirements before the scheduling stage, and there's a lack of suitable tools for creating project or product work breakdown structures. As we will see, MindGenius excels uh, in this front-end planning process and then goes on to provide an excellent and visual platform for scheduling, monitoring, and reporting throughout the whole project life cycle. So let's have a look then at the first key stage, the planning stage. I'm going to start uh, a map, a project plan if you like, uh, from scratch. I'm going to use uh, a mock project example. Let's call it Project X. And all I'm doing here is I've started a new map and it's asking me to type. So all I do is type and press enter or the return key on the keyboard. So this quick and easy type and return methodology is what I do just to capture what basically is my, or in your case, your ideas, your knowledge, your experience around the project scope or the project uh, requirements. So it's type and return. It's as quick and as simple and as easy as that. So uh, as the content flows, your project scope or content gets captured and visualized quickly and effortlessly. Should you wish to drill down, on any of the captured aspects and add further levels to any of the existing branches, if you will, just highlight or click on any branch and then simply go through the type and return uh, process. Now, if you just allow me just to do one or two, and then we'll see where this takes us. And one more. So you can see the type and return is, is very easily. And then we would go on and in-depthly build uh, on that map, the, the, the project flow, if you like. This type and return functionality can be applied to any branch at any level. And you can drill down, as you see fit, focusing on any level or topic and adding further detail. You can also move branches and begin to sort and group your content. You can move any branch from anywhere in the map to anywhere else. So, for instance, if we had brainstormed uh, 30, 40, 50 uh, activities for this project, we can easily, what we call, drag and drop the branches or tasks in, in reality into uh, the relevant uh, areas in terms of order, hierarchy, and structure. A quicker and more engaging approach than some cumbersome and time-consuming traditional methods such as whiteboards, flip charts, post-its, post uh, spreadsheets, and so on. At this point, I also want to highlight Map Explorer on the left-hand side here. Map Explorer replicates the structure of the map in, a, in, this, in, a, and in this particular use of course, the structure of the project uh, in expandable, collapsible uh, to any level by selecting a topic a summary task or a subtask, we isolate that particular part uh, onto the screen and focus it on the screen. This creates more white space. It creates a less cluttered or complex view. 
extremely useful for building maps or project plans, for visualizing, navigating, gaining understanding, and uh, communicating any size uh, of uh, project plan or, or map. To save time, I'm going to show you a ready-made example of this map, how it would have ended up had we gone on to build it. It goes without saying that this is just a mock example to demonstrate the ease of use and the concept. No matter how large your real life projects are, it's a simple question of type and return, drag and drop, and the use of Map Explorer uh, functionality. You may also notice at this point an indication of resources or task owners uh, on this particular map. Uh, data that can be added quickly and effortlessly uh, at this mapping planning stage, or if preferred, later at the scheduling stage. Now, at this stage, let's assume uh, we are content with the basic mapping and structuring of our project, and we have captured it all on our map. We are, in, in effect, ready to start scheduling. So let's look at uh, stage two of our model, project scheduling. Uh, we may at this point simply export our map to MS Project to generate a schedule or already built Gantt chart within MS Project if we're an MS Project user. However, better still, uh, more conveniently and more practically, uh, you can convert your map to work breakdown structure to an integral uh, Gantt view, all within MindGenius itself. No need for MS Project. MindGenius Gantt view overcomes your need for other expensive or cumbersome project management tools. You will notice the MindGenius Gantt ribbon has now been introduced, and this provides a range of uh, intuitive and easy-to-use project management functionality. You are now ready to schedule your project in an easy, non-complicated interface, all within MindGenius. If we switch back to the map, the map still exists in the background, so we have the map project breakdown structure and the Gantt view schedule. You will notice that the map now contains and displays project task properties on each branch, providing crucial task information, task data such as start date, duration, end date, status, and progress. A quick point of note here is that if you realign any of the map structure or make any additions or changes, these changes will be reflected back on the Gantt view. The two views are totally synchronized, ideal for project amendment and project change requests. So back in the Gantt view, you can now see that the structure of the project schedule is as would you would expect, with the parent-child relationships from the math structure being taken forward, giving you a project schedule structure of summary tasks and subtasks sub or activities. We can now look easily and quickly to assign resources if you hadn't uh, been done at the earlier mapping stage, which, which we have done, and the all-important uh, time estimates or durations where we can simply uh, move the icons in terms of how long does a task take. We can also link tasks uh, and show interdependencies very easily and quickly so that our project stages or phases and the overall project schedule builds up and takes shape. Also worth mentioning at this point it is, is that we can introduce constraints for each and every task or as required for things like start date, finish no later than, must start on, must finish on, and so on and so forth. So again, in the interest of managing our time, I'll show you a map project plan example that I prepared earlier to demonstrate the scheduling part of our process. As you can see, this is a larger map uh, in our affinity layout in this time. Uh, fully loaded, if you will, with many project properties and data. If we look at the Gantt view uh, for our project schedule for this map, we can see key functionality, such as the ability to allocate and uh, designate project milestones, highlight the, the critical uh, path, do a critical path analysis, and display and analyze resource allocation uh, in terms of visualizing and interpreting where all our resources are utilized and potentially under or over allocated throughout the project uh, timeline. The main point here is that you're able to task by task estimate time scales and schedule the project so that you more efficiently and productively arrive at the point where the project is fully scheduled, reviewed, and agreed. The project is ready to be launched, ready to go live, as it were. And that takes us on to stage three, the third stage of our model, the monitor and control, control stage. I'm going to stick with this particular algebra example, project schedule, to demonstrate this stage of the process. We are now in a situation where we need to monitor, manage, control, and report on each and every activity and project requirement through to satisfactory completion. We can update 
every task in terms of status and progress. As you can see, we can be really specific about uh, the status and progress, ensuring we have accurate live data on our individual tasks uh, and the whole project uh, are now uh, progressing. Also on an ongoing project monitoring and communication basis, MindGenius offers a number of intuitive and visually impactful functions. I've just shown you the ongoing status and progress of each and every task uh, in terms of not started and progress, etc., etc. Uh, we also have a comprehensive filtering mechanism in MindGenius. Uh, let me just quickly show you a couple of these features. You can quickly uh, ask to filter on your own uh, tasks. You can uh, look at filtering on completion dates to look at what's due for completion proactively ahead a week, due today, overdue, and in fact, uh, look at the system to see what we've actually completed. And you can uh, also filter on milestones, on, on status, and what's not started, what's in progress, and uh, summary tasks. This, for example, would be looking at a project from a high level view, and maybe, for instance, some stakeholders uh, actually require that need to know or level of uh, detail uh, kind of view. And this is a good time to, to show you a particularly important aspect of uh, Mind Genius, uh, the monitoring and reporting on a project at any particular point. A highly informative, effective, and time saving way uh, to get the all important project data at your fingertips. I refer to the project report function. Again, to save time, I have an example report actually taken from this uh, project map, project schedule, to show you what the report comprises of. Uh, firstly, the report is an export from MindGenius to MS Word. The resultant report is comprehensive, professional, presentation-ready Word document, easy to display, to share, and to communicate. The vital detail graphically portrayed ranges from high-level summary data through to drilling down into critical, specific task progress data to allow you to monitor whether or not task stages or indeed the whole project is on track and to take any necessary action to ensure that it stays on track. The export from MindGenius to Word is customizable. You dictate what information you want. And of course, uh, when in Word, you can uh, format it and add to it any, any way you wish as well. So in terms of uh, the overall uh, presentation, I uh, hope it's given you an overview of the planning and project management capability of uh, MindGenius. If I was to revisit the plan, schedule, monitor, and control model that I shared with you and we started off with at the beginning, I could now actually add uh, another two stages, one at the start and one at the end. Those are initiation and review and improve. And I mention this as I hope you have now gained some appreciation of how MindGenius can improve the planning, scheduling, and monitor and control stages for sure. But also, without doubt, increase in efficiency and productivity in the whole end-to-end -end project life cycle by enabling you to quickly kickstart projects, gather requirements, and gain buy-in, seamlessly translate requirements into action actionable and adaptable plans and schedules, manage, monitor, and control projects with complete visibility and flexibility, and facilitate project review mapping for retrospectives, learning, and continuous process improvement. And of course, in terms of its mapping, uh, MindGenius overall mapping and visualization benefits much, much more besides as a daily use tool for projects and other planning work. So if you haven't already downloaded or tried MindGenius, but now recognize that it could help make your project planning and project management processes more efficient, you can download and trial the free 30-day full product trial version available from our website at www.mindgenius.com. To back that up, we provide a comprehensive range of support materials, such as sample maps, how-to guides, user guides, etc., from both within the MindGenius product help files and also on our website. We are, of course, available to help you personally at any time, so please don't hesitate to contact your account manager or email us direct at support at mindgenius.com if you have any questions or need any further help or assistance for either evaluating MindGenius or gaining knowledge for better use or wider adoption. So finally, from me, uh, Jamie McDonald, 
and indeed the whole Mind Genius team, thank you very much for taking time to watch this presentation.